Hey guys, welcome out to St. Andrews Fairmont and the review of my brand new Lab Golf 2-1 putter. Today we are going to talk you guys through this putter, show you guys some of the technology in it. I've been using it for a few weeks now, testing out all the benefits of it, and I can categorically say that I've never ever used a putter like this before. There's a lot of features that I've never seen before, and I'm not 100% certain why. So the first thing we're gonna talk about with this putter, we put a few balls down here, is that the grip is not on straight with the shaft. Now, let me talk you through why that is. Basically, it's center shafted, which means the shaft goes into the back of the club head instead of going into the heel, which basically means it sits behind the club face. So basically the shaft is at a slight angle and then the grip needs to be at a slight angle to counterbalance that, but it helps you get a much, much better roll on the golf ball as well. Now, this is from a company called Lab Golf, and Lab Golf stands for Lie Angle Balance. So it's not a toe hang putter, it's not a heel hang putter. It's the weighting of it is unlike anything I've ever tested before. And I have to say that personally, I find it really easy to get this ball rolling on its intended start line. So one of the things I've become most impressed by this putter is the confidence that it gives me basically when I'm putting. I feel like if I've read the putt right that I have a very good chance of holding it. Now I've just hit a few putts to try and get the read for what this putt does. And I'm gonna give myself four more putts. We've got, you know, 35, 40 feet. Downhill, a little bit, a little bit right to left. This is a long putt, it's a tough putt, it's breaking, it's got some slope in it. Let's see if we can hold it or how close we can get to hold it. I feel confident, now I know what this putt does, that we can actually hit a good putt on that line. I think that should be pretty close. Yeah, I mean, perfect pace. What are we there? Four or five inches right of the hole. That could be good. Again, two inches getting even closer. And perfect pace again. Go on, turn, closer again, just around the back of the hole. That's gonna miss a little bit low. So I've hit four putts there from 40 feet and they're all within a foot of the hole. Another thing to mention is that this putter gives you the ability to completely custom design it. So you get to choose exactly what alignment markings you want on the top, top of the putter. So I've gone for three straight lines in a row. I thought that that would basically give me the best chance of starting the ball on my intended target line. They have over 40 different alignment markings you can choose from on top. There's some really funky looking ones, some really cool looking ones. And I've also got the center line extending all the way back through the middle of the putter here. I just feel like I can get such a confident roll on it from short distance. It enables me to line the putter up really easy, really square, really effectively. Another thing Lab Golf do is they get you to send in a video of you hitting a putt kind of with a doorway or archway or some sort of right angle there so they can actually calculate what lie angle you should be using in the putter so that it's completely custom made, completely custom built and custom designed for you. It's built to get you the best roll possible. So now we've gone pretty much to the length of this green here and I want to show you a few things that I personally really like about this putter. It does come off pretty hot off the face which I really like because typically in the UK we get very 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 slow greens and I don't like to feel like I have to really smash a putt just to get it to the hole. So here we've probably got 
I would say the best part of 60 feet. Pretty long part. I mean, it's literally the length of this green, really. And let's hit a few and see how close we can get it. It looks like this touch a little bit uphill too, and kind of wants to go a little bit both ways. I think at the end, it's definitely going a little bit left to right. I'm actually going to go pretty straight for the first one. They're going to come back. Not going to come back, but it was bang on for pace. That is pretty much exactly in line with the hole. So this one, it looked like it wanted to wander a little bit left, right to left earlier in the part. I'm going to go a little bit further right. I think I might have slightly pulled that one too. That looks a bit better. Yeah. I mean, perfect for distance. We can try one more. See if we can go through. Three. Get in, go on, get in, go on. Oh, I mean, three for three. Okay, so all of these putts are exactly five feet from the hole. I've just pasted out. We've got the cameras rolling live under pressure. Let's see how this putter does. No one likes this putt length, maybe unless it's for birdie. Eagles even better. So let's hit these four putts under pressure, cameras rolling, see how well this performs from short range. This putt doesn't look like it has much break in it. I think I'm gonna go just right of center. Nope, not the first one. Check that out the way. Second putt. How many do you guys think I should hold from here? How many would you be expecting to hold? Two, maybe three out of four? Oh, I don't know how that missed. All right, zero for two. Let's see if I can get the last two, make it 50%. We have been now and then. Yep, straight in the middle. Last one. One out of four wouldn't be very good, so I want to make this one. So I hit my knees. Yep, hit that ball. They did go in. Okay, two out of four. Average. But having said that, under pressure, how many do you think you guys would make? out of four cameras rolling first time okay now this is a real test that hole on this double green is maybe 70 yards away you're talking a putt that's well over 100 feet maybe even 150 feet let's finish this video off in style four putts see how close i can get now you'd be pretty unlikely it's like it's uphill straight uphill, then break down the hill to the right, and then back up the hill, and then down at the end. So this would be optimistic. I think anything within five feet would be pretty exceptional. Has it got the legs? I absolutely smashed that. No, not there. Just short left. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit straighter this time, a bit harder. Come on. Oh! That's not gonna get there, is it? Go on. Just gotta get it over that hill. It looks like it's down at the end. Smash that, it's a bit right. I'm having to hit these so hard. I mean, come on, let's finish. Strong. Who thinks I can hold it? That's good. Go, go, go. Come on. You've got to hit it. How's that not got there? I absolutely smashed that. I was much better for line. That's 20 feet short. 20 feet short. 
18 beat short and the closest of them this part I absolutely smashed and it's still 10 15 feet short let's see if I can hold this one finish this video off take a two pat from back there it's gonna be a bit right to the left of me Maybe a little turn turn oh well I mean that's where I tried to hit it so can't complain overall three putts from 70 yards I don't think anyone's complaining about that I hope you guys have enjoyed this video though make sure you do subscribe to my channel make sure you check out these awesome passes they are pretty pretty cool and check out St Andrews Fairmont it's an absolutely amazing place Give this video a like, comment your thoughts down below, and as always guys, see you in the next video. Grip it and rip it.